While Alexander has been in Egypt, Darius has been amassing another army to take him on. In October 331 BC, one of the most decisive battles in history is fought in the heat and dust of Gargamela, Persia, north of modern-day Baghdad. This time, Alexander is outnumbered more than three to one. But he thrives on danger. And the challenge only seems to embolden him more. His men are almost completely surrounded by the Persian army. But his flanks hold the enemy long enough to see a gap open in the Persian lines. Alexander seizes the moment and breaks through to attack Darius. The Persian king flees once again. One of the secrets of Alexander's success on the battlefield is his use of the phalanx, a 16-deep formation of soldiers carrying long spears. Alexander used a hammer and anvil technique with his phalanxes. The, his own phalanx, his Macedonian infantry, would form the anvil. And against the anvil, he would crush the enemy phalanx using the hammer, which is his companion cavalry. So the hammer and anvil was really a technique that he used time and time and again uh, to be successful in battle. Darius, who has fled east into the mountains, is eventually murdered by one of his officers, 